welcome back to a new multiple choice question uh, video. In this video, we'll go over CMA Part 2, Section B, Cost and Variance Measures. And uh, this topic is in the Materials and Labor Manufacturing Input Variances. Before we solve the problem together, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you know why 65% of CMA candidates fail the exam? Could it happen to you? The test is very hard, but the bigger problem is the candidate's self-study. I'm very glad that these videos help you, but to increase your chances of passing the exam, take an instructor-led course. Now, how do I know? Well, my academy works so well, I offer an exam pass guarantee. My academy brings high-quality video lectures taught by me your CMA coach, so you're not stuck with your own risky self-study methods. I will handhold you every step of the way. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly do I get with the course? And that's a great question. As soon as you enroll in the Academy, you will get immediate access via username and password to the entire CMA Exam Academy program. You will get access until you pass the exam and log in 24-7 with free updates forever. It is a digital, it is all digital, so you can log in to access the video lectures and download free guides and take it all with you as well. Your Wiley CMA Excel textbooks and flashcards are shipped via mail anywhere in the world. And guess what? I personally pay for your shipping. So shipping to you is absolutely covered by me. You will also receive the Wiley Test Bank to practice mock exams as many times as you need to. The video lectures are broken down by week and you can see your progress each week by looking at the progress bar. I will give you assignments each week also so you don't have to figure out what to do next. It's all laid out for you in a very simple and easy to use program. There's a link in the footnotes of the video if you would like more information on how to enroll. Or feel free to email me at nathan at cmacoach.com. I'll gladly answer any questions that you may have about the Academy and the program. So now let's get back to the problem and let's solve it together. Okay, so let's get to it. A company producing a single product employs the following direct material cost standard for each unit of output is three pounds of material times four dollars per pound equals twelve dollars per output unit data regarding the operations for the current month are as follows planned production 26,000 units actual production 23,000 units actual purchases of direct materials uh, 75,000 pounds equals 297,000 dollars and direct materials used in production equals 70,000 pounds. The question is, what would be the amount of the direct materials purchase price variance and direct materials quantity variance that the company would recognize for the month? The purchase price variance is calculated as follows. Open parentheses, actual price, and I'm going to write this out, minus standard price, and then we close the parentheses, times actual quantity. Since the purchase price variance is required, the quantity to use for the actual price is the price per unit of the units purchased instead of the price per unit of the units used. And the actual quantity is the number of units purchased, not the number of units that were put into production. All right. The actual price is $3.96 per pound. And we take that by dividing $297,000 divided by 75,000 pounds. And that's the actual purchases of direct materials. Okay, so the actual price is $3.96 per pound. The standard price is $4 per pound. Okay, 
and that's provided. The actual quantity purchased is 75,000 pounds. So the purchase price variance is open parentheses. We're going to just plug in the numbers here to the formula. Actual price, which is $3.96, minus $4, which is the standard price, we close parentheses, times the actual quantity, which is 75,000 units. And that gives us a $3,000 favorable variance. All right, so that's that one. Now the quantity variance is calculated as follows, and I'll write down the formula. We're gonna open parentheses, actual quantity minus standard quantity for actual output. Okay, standard quantity for actual output. And then we close parentheses, times standard price. So the actual quantity is the actual quantity used, not the quantity purchased. Okay, I'll say that, I'll say that again. The actual quantity is the actual quantity used, not the quantity purchased. Okay, the standard quantity is the standard quantity allowed for the actual output. And the actual out, uh, the actual quantity is seventy thousand. Okay, the standard quantity allowed for the actual level of output is sixty nine thousand pounds, which is three pounds times twenty three thousand units. And that information is provided. The standard price is four dollars. Hence, the quantity variance is. And let's plug in the numbers here. Actual quantity, which is 70,000, minus the standard quantity for actual output, which is 69,000, times the standard price, which is $4. And when we do the math here, the answer is $4,000 variance. Uh, $4,000 unfavorable variance. And with that, we've calculated the price variance and the quantity variance. And that's all for this video. See you in the next one.